Hey guys, it's Sanem or welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be doing a video which is a little different but I feel like it's going to be really helpful for a lot of you guys which is basically the makeup kit for beginners. So if you are starting out with makeup, if you have already started but you just need some good recommendations, I feel like this video is for pretty much everyone whether you are already like advanced in makeup it's still great recommendations but again it's for those of you who just kind of want some recommendations and really want to start getting into makeup and you don't know where to start or you don't know what's the best product and you you're still trying to stay within budget because all of these are going to be drugstore and affordable prices as well some online and some at the drugstore but all affordable i think majority is pretty much under 20 dollars and 20 pounds so let's go ahead and jump straight into it so i have my little basket i pick out things that i think are very beginner friendly and i'm going to explain why as well so i do have two primers here one is for someone who has more normal to oily skin maybe more combination and also you don't really want like a super glow finish on your skin then I would highly recommend the Essence Prime and Studio Poreless Skin Blurring Putty Primer so this is very affordable and it's basically it's also silicone free a pore filling primer so what that's going to do is smooth over any texture smooth over the pores that you have in this area and minimize the appearance of them so it comes out kind of like a pinkish clear color and it just blends in super nicely into the skin. It's super, super, super nourishing as well. It's gonna hydrate the skin, but it just gives this very smooth, almost blurred look. But that is one that I definitely recommend. And primer is basically just going to ensure that your foundation lasts long. Not only will it last long, it will also, you know, make your skin a lot more smooth and just make the foundation blend on a lot easier, especially if you have dry skin. You don't wanna put foundation straight on top of dry skin. You wanna use, you know, a smoothing, hydrating primer underneath and then put the foundation on top so the foundation sits on the primer and not on your dry skin or any texture. One I do have as well right here is for someone who wants more glowy skin, you know, juicy looking skin like myself. I, I think if you have dry skin, you will always need something that just looks a little more juicy on the skin because it makes the skin look more healthy. And this is one that I recommend, the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin Primer. Very easy to use. It does come with a drop dropper. And all you do is just drop it all over your face, put it all over, and it's basically gonna give you the healthiest looking glow. It's not sticky, it's just like a drink of water for your skin is how I can describe it. Look how shiny that is, super, super, super shiny. And again, super moisturizing, it settles into the skin as well, so foundation is just gonna go on a lot nicer, but the dewiness is gonna peek through the foundation. So what that means is your foundation is gonna look a little more radiant and more glowy, whereas this, I feel like, is more for someone who maybe wants more of a matte finish on their skin. Now so. let's talk about foundations. I do have three right here. So it, you can pick and choose which you think is gonna best suit you. So for oily skin or combination or even normal, I highly recommend the Maybelline 30 Hour Superstay Full Coverage matte foundation don't be scared of the word full coverage if you are beginning uh, with makeup it is a buildable foundation so it doesn't look full coverage straight away you can build it i'd say it's more of a medium coverage which is great because it's going to cover enough and it's not going to look cakey this foundation right here is very very matte so if you are very oily this is going to be your holy grail foundation it stays put it dries down quickly so you don't have to work with it quite fast but once it's on it's on it does not budge if you're looking just for a very long lasting matte foundation at the drugstore this is the one for you one that i do recommend for dry skin or again normal combination is more of a dewy foundation something that's going to look a little more like radiant on the skin and again healthy looking and that's the wet and wild photo focus dewy foundation this one is one of my favorite drugstore foundations because it just makes the skin look really nice and plump it's still going to last long it won't last as long as this because this is a matte foundation foundation and it stays put. This one I would say lasts like an average eight hour day uh, and with this one as well it is a buildable foundation. It's medium coverage also and it's just very light on the skin. This does feel a little heavier on the skin. This feels a lot more light but still gives the coverage which is great. If you don't want to go for a foundation you can go for a tinted foundation and this is one that I feel like no one really talks about and that is the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. This one lasts all day but it gives you a very natural finish so it's not going to be dewy it's not going to be matte it's just like a natural satin finish and with tinted foundations it's going to give you the coverage but it's not going to feel 
heavier on the skin like a foundation would and it's also not going to give you too too much coverage like foundations because tinted foundations have less pigment in them so this is going to be more of a sheer to medium kind of skin like foundation tinted foundation so if you are starting off with makeup maybe you can go for tinted foundations first and then build your way into actual foundations so this is one that i definitely recommend I'm, I'm gonna recommend concealer and I think concealer is essential if you are starting off with makeup. You could skip on foundation, but you could just get a really good concealer, spot conceal if you have any blemishes, underneath your eyes as well. One I recommend is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. This one is very hydrating, very creamy, very medium to full coverage as well. And you absolutely cannot go wrong with it. It's very, very smooth looking as well. It does not crease under the eyes. Um, they do have the regular version as well, which is more of like a natural matte finish. Whereas this one is, I just feel like a lot more hydrating, a lot more smooth and creamy underneath the eyes. And it's gonna give you the coverage. So if you're looking for a good like, you know, full coverage concealer, that's gonna be the one. If you're not looking for a full coverage concealer and you want something a little more light, a little more airy on the skin and you just kind of wanna, you know, use it for little things here and there, one I recommend is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This one is amazing. It's very light and creamy underneath the eyes. It's not as full coverage as the e.l.f. one. This one is more like a medium coverage. So you might still see, you know, any dark circles peeking through, but it still covers enough where it looks very natural, very skin-like. Um, it just makes your skin perfected. It's a really nice formula. The only downside to it is the shades. Again, this is for those of you who want more of a sheer to medium coverage. You don't want too much and you just want to experiment with a concealer, but you don't want to go super in with a full coverage one then this is the way to go. There is only one face powder I can recommend and that is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This is such a great mattifying but natural matte finish powder, if that makes sense. Like it's not gonna dry your skin out. It doesn't make the skin look powdery, cakey, drying. It's just a very smooth, creamy matte formula, which I love, especially on dry skin, it works wonders. Um, and I absolutely love this powder. They have a lot of shades to choose from as well. It does come with a mirror and a sponge. It's great for those of you who have oily skin to touch up throughout the day. It's really gonna just keep those oils at bay. And then also if you do want a little more coverage throughout the day as well, if you feel like sometimes your foundation has faded, maybe around the nose, around the mouth, anywhere like that, you can just go in with a powder like this and just touch up in that area. It's gonna give you a little more coverage, but it's not too heavy either. It's a very light, like just very light, airy, soft powder, still gives the coverage and mattifies. It's amazing, highly recommend it for all over the face. Uh, you can wear it on its own as well, it would be great for that. Now, if you are looking for a more loose, translucent powder, as you guys may know, these are great to actually set your concealer and under eye with. They are a lot more, of course, lighter because it's more of an actual, um, finely milled powder, it's not pressed. So these are gonna feel a lot more fine. It's gonna feel like a baby powder on the skin. So these are great if you just wanna dust a little bit of powder over your foundation just to set it in place, but you don't wanna go in with something like this. Or great for underneath um, your eyes, it's really gonna set that concealer in place and it's not gonna look heavy. Like if you were to put this underneath the eyes, it'll look a little heavier, this would look lighter. So this is it right here. This is the ColourPop No Filter Translucent Powder. It is a very standard translucent powder and that's why I'm recommending it because there's a lot of other translucent powders that I love that have a little bit of shine to them or they're just too matte, they've got too much color to them. This is just like the go-to plain translucent powder that's affordable, that works, that sets your makeup in place, that I feel like everyone is just gonna need. It's just a very basic but great translucent powder. There is one bronzer in here and that's it. I don't need to recommend any other bronzer to anyone. This is the bronzer that I think if someone came to me and said, what's a great bronzer that you recommend? It's gonna be this one and it's drugstore. It's Milani's Silky Matte Bronzer. I think everyone needs this bronzer in their life because it just makes bronzing and contouring super easy because it's not too orange, it's not too heavy looking, it's not powdery. It is the most silkiest, silkiest, like buttery smooth bronzer. And it's almost like 
I know this is gonna sound really weird, but it almost has like no pigment to it when you actually swatch it because it's super light. But that's what I love. It's not like a powder that picks up so much color and pigment and when you go in, it just looks super heavy. This just builds up the color beautifully on the skin because it's so smoothing, it's so light. Um, and it just, I don't know, you can just go in and in and in with a brush and I just feel like you're never gonna look like you've put on too much bronzer because it's so light and the pigment, I don't know how to really describe it, but it just picks up the right amount of pigment where it's just not gonna look heavy. And I think it's just super, super nice on the skin. I'm not wearing it today, but I've raved about this so much and it is just one of the best bronzers on the market. Two types of blushes I'm gonna recommend. The first one is from Essence. These are so affordable. Everyone loves these. I think if you are starting out, this is the blush that you're gonna need to go for. This is called The Blush and the shade specifically I have it in is Be Fitting. It is a very light but yet pigmented formula. So it's really gonna pack on the blush color and really just gonna look super soft on the cheeks. Doesn't have any fallout. It's just a very smooth matte finish. And it just almost looks, how can I describe? It almost looks just, can you see that almost blurred? Like a very, very soft, blurry kind of color. These are so affordable, you cannot go wrong with them. I think they are all matte, but they have some other colors to choose from. This is a great, just like everyday pinky blush that I think everyone would love. Um, and I love these, they're very buildable. They still have a lot of pigment and color to them, but they don't look heavy on the skin. Another one I do recommend as well are the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. These ones are great. Again, very pigmented. Um, there's not much to say between the two. It just depends like what you guys wanna go for. If you maybe find a color in the Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild, I think might have some more colors or maybe they're about even, but these are the two I have. We have Mellow Wine, which is just a beautiful neutral color. And then we have more of a pink one called Pinch Me Pink. This one has a little bit of shimmer. This one is more matte. Um, again, very buildable, very creamy, like no fallout whatsoever, very smooth looking. And I'll put that one there as well so you guys can see the difference. The reason I picked these out is because of how they look on the skin. That's the Wet n Wild one. They just look very, very airy. Does that make sense? Like very soft looking. For highlighter, I do recommend the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Highlighters. These are absolutely amazing. They are very glowy. These are great because again, silky, smooth, but they have a ton of colors to choose from. This one is one of my favorites called Just My Type, which is more of like a pink champagne, gold, I don't even know how to describe it, but that's that one right there. Super beautiful um, on the skin. And then we do have some others as well. This one's more pink, like rose gold. And then this one's a light gold, which is called Raise the Bar. But again, they have so many to choose from. The gold one is actually my favorite, I think, that one. And these are super, super silky. That's the gold one there. Super silky, they just give you the glow. Um, I don't know what else I can really say about them. I think if you're just looking for a great drugstore highlighter that you wanna kind of dabble into and that has a lot of shade ranges, um, shades to choose from, then these are great. They actually blend into the skin really nicely and look very natural as well. So it's not gonna look like you've just put a stripe of highlight and it looks too glittery or too powdery. These just have the right amount of shine and shimmer in them. So it's not gonna look like a stripe of glitter or you know, super, super shimmery. It just like melts into the skin and gives a beautiful, nice glow. Next is eyeshadows and we have the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows right here. I've spoken about these before. These are great. They have a ton of shades to choose from. And these are basically, I think like three or four pounds, $4, um, at $3, I think. And you basically cannot go wrong with them. We have so many shades. It comes with four uh, colors. This one is broken. Comes with four colors and it has a mixture of mattes and shimmers. So these are great if you are starting out with eyeshadow and you don't wanna buy a whole big palette, but you still wanna kind of play around with a shimmer and a matte and maybe you wanna get some different colors. 
these are great. I mean, you could buy two and it's still gonna be under 10 pounds, under $10. You can buy three. I mean, you can just really play around with them. They are great quality. They blend beautifully on the eyes. You don't have to worry about it being patchy or anything like that. It's great, great, great quality for the price. Um, I'm just pleasantly surprised by these. I feel like no one really talks about how great they are for the price. Um, and again, so many shades to choose from. So I definitely recommend these if you, if you again, don't wanna go into a big palette or get, you know, a palette with so many other colors and you feel like you're not really gonna use those colors, you can get these because you're really gonna get more use out of them and also travel friendly. But speaking of other palettes, we do have these which are various different prices, but I wanted to point out that ColourPop eyeshadow palettes are amazing. They are still affordable. And I mean, there is an absolute crazy variety on their website, which I will leave down below for you guys to check out. But they have a ton of palettes you will honestly find the palette for you on there. So we do have the Stone Cold Fox palette. This is a lot more expensive, probably the most expensive thing, but it is a palette if you just wanna buy once and have every single like neutral color. This is a little more on the cooler side, but they do have a nice warm toned side as well, which is I think the Bare Necessities palette it's called. So yeah, these are great quality, mixture of mattes and shimmers again, you absolutely cannot go wrong with them. And this is for someone who maybe just wants one big palette to just really experiment with a lot of colors. That's a great one to really start off with. Or if you wanna go smaller, again, there's other ColourPop palettes. I mean, there's just an entire variety of not only shades and colors, but also down to sizes as well. So you can go a few sizes down and then you have like the California Love palette, which has a little less colors, but still more than the e.l.f. one to really just play around with. This is a beautiful natural bronze everyday palette, or we have a little more of like this really girly, pinky peach palette, but still neutral. Um, again, to play around with, I think these are $18. Or you can even go smaller. I think these are like $9. This is the Baby Got Peach palette, which is a beautiful little peach palette. Super pretty. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea of which palette I recommend. There isn't a specific one, but like ColourPop palettes is what I recommend to really start off with, because you're gonna find literally whatever you want. Whatever. For eyeliner, I recommend the Wonder Ink Eyeliner from Rimmel. It's such a great one. Um, there's not much to say about this, but I wanted to recommend this if you do want something just super sharp, super easy if you are starting off with liner. Felt tip liners are great because it's really easy to hold like a pen. And it just creates a sharp line. It lasts all day, no budging, no uh, smudging. It's just a great one. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna have to rush through this. But the next thing is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is such a great one. It's the one that absolutely everyone raves about. It's like three pounds, you can't go wrong. Really volumizes the lashes, lengthens them, and does not budge. It doesn't give you like those panda eyes where it just smudges. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this one. There was only one brow product I recommend and that is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This one is amazing because this is basically like a little fiber, fiber gel. So you don't have to go in with a pencil and get super complicated with doing your brows. Literally brush this through your brows. It's gonna give you the color. It's gonna tint them. So it's gonna fill in any sparse empty areas, but it's also gonna add little hair like fibers. So it's actually gonna make your brows look nice and full. It is one of the best brow uh, gels that I feel like no one really talks about. It doesn't dry down hard. It doesn't dry down sticky. It's not super pigmented. It just gives you the right amount of color through your brows whilst filling in those sparse areas and it stays put and it really looks very hair-like. It's not like a traditional brow gel. And I think finally we are down to lips. So let's go into lipsticks. I do have two lipsticks I'm gonna recommend. Some are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. These are for those of you who want more of a matte uh, finish on the lips. And these come in literally like, I don't even know, 30 shades or something. It's ridiculous. And these are so souffle-like on the lips, very whipped, very moussey. They look super soft on the lips. Um, and they stay put because they are a really nice matte finish so you can eat and drink with them. They look very, very, very smooth. And it also doesn't leave your lips feeling dry like tr traditional liquid lipsticks do. They've just really, really just made this formula like a nice whipped, whipped hydrating matte finish like formula. This one's a beautiful neutral one. This is in London. 
The other one was in the shade Zurich, Zurich. And we have a beautiful pink as well. So yeah, these I definitely recommend for those of you who want a lipstick that's gonna stay put all day. And then we have the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipsticks, which are absolutely amazing. These are again, super, super affordable. But what I love about these is it gives you a satin finish and lasts all day. It's a ton of colors to choose from. This is for someone who wants more, more of a lipstick and doesn't want a liquid lipstick. And you don't really want a matte finish, but you don't want a shiny finish either. These are amazing because it's just gonna give you a very natural finish on the lips. Um, these are absolutely great. So I absolutely love them. And this is one that I love as well, this beautiful raspberry pink shade. Um, they have neutrals, they have deeper shades. You can literally experiment with these because it's just a great lipstick to have to throw in your purse. They last all day, you can eat and drink with them, uh, but it's not gonna give you like a super matte or super shiny finish. And last but not least is gloss. And these glosses are amazing. So these are the ColourPop Luxe glosses, and these are very pigmented very pigmented, look at this one, it's called Just Cuddle. So these are non-sticky, super shiny, they're gonna make the lips look really nice and full, like if I just show you guys right here. Super nice and full looking, super shiny, and just absolutely creamy on the lips. It's not sticky whatsoever, and you get pigment out of it. The other one is in the shade Renaissance, which is a beautiful like nude with shimmer. So many shades to choose from on ColourPop's website. And I just really recommend these, one, these ones because they are affordable, but again, it's just a gloss that's gonna look super shiny. You can wear it on its own. You don't need to wear it on top of lipstick. It's gonna give you color as well, so it's not super sheer. Um, and it's absolutely not sticky whatsoever. So these are great. Again, I do have like a ton of other recommendations, but otherwise this, otherwise this video would be so long and I'd just be recommending like a lot of products. So I will leave the rest down below in the description, like just some other bonus little recommendations so you guys can check that out. But I think that is it from me. I hope you guys found this video helpful for those of you who want to start off with makeup or if you already have started but don't know what to get. Let me know in the comment section if you did find something in this video that you will be picking up or adding to your list. Let me know what you want to see from me next. And I think that is it from me. I hope you guys are all staying safe. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.